the 9000 series from AMD is right around the corner and AMD states that the current generation of chipset, the 600 series, will be able to reach memory speeds of 7200, at least some boards out there, while the new chipsets will be topping at around 8000. So let's check together the 7800X3D's performance paired with memories clocked at 7000 using the latest BIOS available. Before we start, consider subscribing to the channel to help it grow. My kits are by default overclocked to reach 6400, but it seems that I can go up to 7000 by using the default timings set in the XMP profile. On the screen now, you have the Zen timings for the 7000 and 6200 tuned profile that will be used for testing. I'll be using the 4080 Super for the comparison and I will be checking games at 1440p max settings and medium as well. This way you'll see if there is any performance gap. After the side-by-side -side comparison, all the information will be shown in a chart to paint a better picture and I will elaborate a bit more on the results. Now this is a conundrum.
la policía de la Nación recomienda evitar a los bandidos que se hacen pasar a veteranos. <tose> For those that are core and blind, for each game, the top line represents the 7000 memory speed performance, while the bottom one, the 6200. As you can be seen, with max settings, the 7000 memory speed doesn't bring any benefits. In Benches Ghost of New Eden, the 6200 performs better than the 7000. Let's move to the medium settings chart to see if there is any difference. This time around, the 6200 performs better in Banisher's Ghost of New Eden and Outcast A New Beginning, while it falls a bit short in Horizon Forbidden West. But why do the kids clock tax 7000 underperform compared to 6200? For starters, the 6200 has better timings. But probably, the biggest performance drag is that at 7000, the unified memory controller clock is at half the speed, in this case 1750, while the kids clocked at 6200 can do 3100. The memory controller on the CPU can't cope with the 3500 speed, it simply refuses to boot, so it needs to reduce the speed in order to function properly. And, because of this, we see the memory kits clocked at 7000 underperforming. This may vary from CPU to CPU. Let me know in the comments below what is the top memory kit speed that your CPU can handle. And there you go. If you plan to skip the next generation of CPUs from AMD, buying higher speed kits will not help. So stick to kits that can go up to 6400 at most. If you liked the video and found it helpful, hit the like button, drop a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.